welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Elix. It's time to clear out this place for wheelsies. And then we'll get to play with our new glasses of the sun variety. Alright, somewhere inside here. Oh, there's a rat. Somewhere inside of here, or outside the back, there is a mutant inside of this place. Oh, mutant. Where are you? Hello? I'm 99% sure we didn't kill it. Found him. Oh, they're fighting up there. Did I knock him out of the window? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> oh, he just whips out his, uh, gun. He, he does seem to be rather thoroughly stuck. I mean, like, I am totally okay with this scenario going down. I'll just stand here. All day. We're all day sure, ladies and gentlemen. That was easy. I don't know if there's any other... Mutants in here. But I suppose we can walk along and see. Doesn't appear that there are. So we'll take our little adventure over here to the other side of life. And there it is. It's that metal scrap. The scrap of metal that is metallic and scrap like. What? I don't know. It's fine. Alright, what's up here? It was something that we ran past. Ah, more metal scrap. Okay. That's clearly what the danger music is for. Oh, there it is. Toodles. Oh boy. Amazing. Look at me, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! Alright, well, that works out. Okay, well. One less problem. We are running slowly out of energy, and. Well, we're out of energy and other things. But I'm okay with all these little situations that we've come across. Gonna make a lot of noise as I move around here. I think I may. Apparently we can't chop our way through that. I think I may take a nap over here. No? Oh gosh. Hey, Falk, what's going on, buddy? It wasn't as scary as a lot of the crap you pull, but... That was a little bit scary. Not gonna lie. Okay, well... Oddly, there's not a whole heck of a lot going on over there. So, with that in mind, it's time to sleep until morning. 
And then we'll continue our slow and hopefully safe uh, expedition. Whee! Alright, there we go. And we'll be able to whip out our sunglasses and do stuff. Now, my last two videos were actually huge, despite there being them being a little bit shorter and they're uh, not really being that much that happened I guess I don't know maybe it's just all the combat and the quick like panning left and right and everything kind of put that off kilter a bit I don't know but yeah the size of the videos were huge one was like 10 the other was like 14 I was like oh my goodness gig and usually it cuts it down by about half when I render and, and edit so yeah that's still beyond the 4 gig limit I'll stop talking about it, guys and gals. I'm sorry. It's just, it's one of those phenomenons, one of those weird little situations that we are stuck with that I must deal with. But only for a short, more t a short time while. Short little more time, time short of time or two. I, I don't know. Only for a little bit more time, only for a bit more. Okay. Well, it appears, ladies and gentlemen, that now that we have slaughtered everything, it's time to wear our sunglasses at night, so let's do it. Oh, look at them all! Yes, that does make it a lot easier looting. I guess I could start here. Loot the oil lamp. Loot the spoon. The knife. The sandy guidebook. Okay. Plate. Some more stuff out there. Flyer. Let's find dining plate. Oh, all the monies we could ever hope for. We actually have a fairly decent amount of money right now, which I'm really, really happy about because I'm hoping that it holds out and allows us to stay good with our ammunition, assuming we get to the point where we can actually get more. What's this? I've got message Nobody for. Is getting through. There was complete chaos on the roads. We're turning around and taking the inland path. They're saying to stick to higher ground in case of tsunamis, but... It's gonna take too much time. To all roads who are listening, follow my example and join with the forces of Ignodon. They're spread from the north. The curse of the Alps must be eliminated. We must all choose sides in the battles to come. Make sure you choose. My dear fellows, I am so deeply sorry to keep you waiting. Mm. Tonight, she is beautiful. Well, that's weird. <clears throat> oh, rat. Well, I gotta say, it was a little bit of a stressful and annoying thing to get to where we're at. Ooh, high performance soup recipe, yeah. Uh, to get the glasses, it was a bit of a struggle and, well, more than slightly annoying. But you know what? I'd say it's worth it. This definitely does help and makes it a lot easier. I'm I'm a fan, so thank you guys for letting me know. There's so much stuff to, that we haven't read that we need to. It's okay, though. Alright, and a recipe. Scrap scanner received. Recipe received. Alright. Let's open this bad boy up. No. Huh. Is it this one? Ah, there it is. We did it. Too easy. We're heroes. Uh, scrap scavenger hat. Okay, it's not bad. Yeah, I'll take all of that. Sure. That might actually be better than our weird little helmet thing that we've been wearing. Something on the roof up there. Alright, so mag torches. Nothing else. Alright. Get on over there. That whole area should light up. Yep. Just full of stuff because we didn't loot any of it. I know you're going to come back as a giant mutated rat and kill me later, so... The quicker I can kill you all off now, the safer I'll be later. That's my strategy or my plan. That's how I justify the mass murdering of all the rodents. I was given the, the roles reversed, they would kill me dead. Can we... Can we even get that? I, f 
feel like we should be able to get that. I want it. Give it to me. Well, apparently that is unlootable. Well, that's annoying. Hmm. Well, what are you going to do about it? Not a whole lot, I guess. We'll go floor by floor. Clear out all the stuff on one floor and then go to the next. Poor waitress lived here. And she worked right over there. That's, well, it happens, I suppose. Okay, some dried meat. We probably have enough dried meat by now to go back to that guy along with bottles of water. Uh, rock, I believe it was, and turn in his uh, quest. Bundle of old world money. We still need to make our way to the outlaws. I know that's a thing that I haven't done just yet. But hopefully I'll be able to do it relatively soon. Tons of brooms and soft toilet paper. I actually didn't notice the healing potion. Maybe it was there. I just didn't see it until I landed on top of it. Like I do. Ah, there's a bed there. Just roll randomly for no reason. Ah, uh, can you imagine? Imagine going back to a time before there was like electricity and just modern conveniences. Oh, it would be the worst. I mean... Kudos to people for surviving through that and, you know, enjoying the technology of the time, but, you know, we get we get a bit spoiled as we get further along in, like, tech and whatnot. Now, I'm sure there's a few folks who could probably do it without a problem, or much of a problem, I should say. But, man, it would just be weird. I don't think I could handle it. Like, I very, very much like the tech and stuff that we have nowadays. like it a whole heck of a lot, so to not have it would be pretty poopy, for lack of a better term. Alright, I think we'll loot the top floor next, and then we'll go to the bottom floor. My top floor... Oh, I missed something else up here. I do actually mean the top floor. Yeah, I missed some stuff. Collectible toy car... Fifteen. It's scratched in up there. Cigarettes. Small mental energy reserve. Scribbled book. Gosh, it's going to take like three episodes just to read all the stuff that we got from this silly place here. We got quite a few different, look, tattered journal. I mean, there is so much literature and lore. There's a poor skeleton there. Alright. TP. Move it, Falk. Ah, bag of Alexit. Yes. Photograph. Look at that. The devs doing more dev things. Cool. Taking a bath with this money. That's that's a little strange. Turn the radio off. Alright, some mana laying around. That's an odd thing to have in here, though I suppose people have come and gone through this area more than once. Hey, a locker. I hope I didn't miss any of the others. If I did, I apologize, folks. I mean, it's possible. See, like, right there, I was able to hit escape to back out of that. Why is that not, like, a thing for every single menu? It only works with certain ones. I don't understand why. Okay. Energy reserve. Anything else? Oops, it just rolled into a room. Not what I wanted to do. I think that's it. According to my glasses of awesomeness, that's it. Okay, so there we go, folks. I have explored, discovered, and pilfered and looted a little hotel area here. Feel pretty good about that, except I missed a bunch of magnesium torches and things laying here. I actually didn't even see those, even with the glasses. Me be blind, I suppose. Alright, let's take the glasses off. Let's get back to, you know, I probably can leave them on. I'll leave them on for now. I may leave them on forever. I don't know. I know, well, 
before I say that, let's see, what are we, uh, what are we giving up? The Hunter's Helmet has three armor. Is that really worth it? It probably is, but look how cool we look. Yeah. You're looking at me, buddy. I'm looking at you looking at me. Alright, that's weird. Please don't say that anymore. Alright, there's some cooking we can do here. Let's use the campfire. We can craft all of those things. Jeez. That's a meat soup. That sounds way better than the one that we had. It gives us radiation resistance. Huh. And more fried meat. High performance soup. Yeah, I'll get all those. That does not sound yummy. Bloody burger. We only have one bread. That isn't enough. Yeah, whatever. I'm just making some extra food. Okay. Do we have a, a plan here? I feel like we don't. Like, we're kind of heading toward the Hort. But, I'm not really wanting to go to the Hort. Oh, we're going to be going through the... Yeah, okay, I'm fine with this. Yeah, let's go into the desert. I think this is where the outlaws are. So we'll do some of that. Do the plants light up blue, too? Ones that are uh, attainable? Is that a Skex? Yep. As most assuredly a Skex. It does not look like plants light up. It's possible it's only actual loot stuff. Well, I'm curious. We're here. Might as well go take a peek at the top of this. Maybe there's something up here. Maybe not. Probably not, but you never know. Is that a raptor? Looks like a regular raptor. If it is, we can probably kill it. And there seems to be... What's that thing? Yeah, that's a regular raptor. I should be able to take this thing on. Oh, gosh. Not around that thing, though. There's no telling what comes out of that. Probably a forest spider, knowing my luck. Initiating combat. Oh, I still landed the attack on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you tell him, Paul. Couldn't swing just a half a second earlier, could you, buddy? Alright, so let's avoid that thing on the ground that I actually have no idea where it is now. Let's go closer to whatever was over here. Also, seems there's a bunch of loot to be had. Let's take a look at whatever that thing is. It's a desert devil. That doesn't sound like a fun thing that we want to deal with. I think we should leave this place. It's getting really close. Ah, there's some loot to be had, and a isopod to be murdered. Yes. Yes. We could probably deal with the, the, the dirt, dust devil, the dirt devil, I don't whatever it was. Desert devil, I guess. I mean, probably. It seems to have some sort of plans to go do stuff there. Well, while it's planning to go do stuff, I think I'm going to go and get some food. Just going to om nom up on that. Take a look. Did it have a, it did have a skull? Well, like I said, I, I feel like we could, but I was thinking maybe that is a mistake. Well, it looks like we're about to find out. All right, buddy. You warned me. Give me some warning roars. I, I mean, I can back up if you don't want to fight. I feel like that did not do much.
Hey, get over here. Hulk, idiot. Oh my god, come on, come on, get over. Oh my god, he's the worst human alive. Dude! Wow, gosh, you're stupid. Oh, now, now, now you go. Okay. Man, he's dumb. Alright, whatever. Thing doesn't seem to be, like, overly angry. Like, it doesn't attack very fast. I'm sure when it hits, it's gonna hurt like crazy, but... It doesn't seem to do a whole heck of a lot. I see he just stands there and kind of just stares us down and then kind of dodges a lot of our attacks. There it was. I mean, that looked pretty quick. Get him. Get him. Get him. And good day, sir. Oh, not, not good day. All right. A little bit more. Eh. 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 And eh. Well, that could have been really easy if Falk wasn't just completely, you know, brain dead. Uh, well, whatever. There's clearly something wrong with the guy. I mean, we know this. I guess I shouldn't mock him for it. But man, that was that was annoying. Sounds like there's dead bodies around us. He's got that something. Oh gosh, is that a is that a jackal? It's a jackal. Is it a jackal? It's a jackal. Oh, let's go fight the jackal, I guess. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Get him. Yeah. How did that hit me? Well, I suppose I just rolled in front of him. I guess I don't have a question there. I guess I know how that hit me. messy. It was a bit messy. Alright, well, I'm gonna go grab this plant. I'm gonna grab that plant down there. Then I I guess I'm gonna head up to the top of this hill, see what's going on, and then break off the episode. I would like to return someday. I swear I just heard a zzz, zzz sound. I don't know what that was or if I should be worried. But look at the wonderful desert that is stretched out before us. Oh, there's some cool little pod things over there. Well, I guess we'll go explore that. Maybe we'll head to the top of this, see if there's anything there. Lots of cool stuff. And the glasses, not only do they look cool, they make me look and see things that I could probably easily have missed. So there we go. All right, folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>